Historically, the backbone of the United States has been the small family farm. It is quickly becoming a relic of the past. According to Farm Aid, every week 330 farmers leave their land. That's about two farms an hour, 24 hours a day, every day, that are no longer growing the food we need. As a result, there are now nearly 5 million fewer farms in the United States today than there were in the 1930s. Of the 2 million remaining farms, only about a quarter of them are family operations. This loss is having a direct impact on the loss of quality food being grown. It touches every one of us. But even more important is the loss of the farm family and the children who are being raised with a work ethic and quality of life values that our nation needs and which our leaders must have if we are to survive. Family farms produce quality food and quality children. We must protect that source. America needs both. There is hope. It was while producing a farm tractor safety video for the state of Washington, we met a group of FFA teenagers. Now they used to be called Future Farmers of America. Now it's just FFA. Wow, were we impressed. These motivated kids are capable of being the great leaders of tomorrow. And the one thing that was true of all of them, they were raised on a family farm. Howdy, my name is Rex Allen Jr. Now I'm known as a singing cowboy. I grew up on a small family farm. Actually, it was a small family ranch where I learned important life lessons. Our ranch was not big enough to support our family, so my dad had an outside job as a movie cowboy, singer, and narrator for Disney films. It was my job to care for the animals. I learned that chores had to be done every day, no exception. This work ethic is exactly what one of the young FFA students told me. His name is Landon Macy. When we first met Landon, he was a high school senior, student body president, and president of the FFA. Now he is a student at Washington State University in Eastern Washington. What really got me interested in cattle what began years ago growing up on my grandpa's farm. My grandpa had about 10 acres and going out and feeding with them in the morning and sitting in the back of the truck and being able to touch the animals when I was about four years old. And then when I began showing with cattle, my interest just grew and I wanted to become more involved. And so then shadowing large animal livestock vets and going out to the dairies really just concreted that, uh, that feeling of wanting to work with them. Growing up on a family farm has impacted Landon's life in more ways than just vocationally. The passion and uh, respect for the farming community and for the animals that I work with to respect for others and uh, daily life and work ethic and values that I've learned growing up on the family farm that you can't find anywhere else. Because of the grounding he received from his parents and family, combined with life on the family farm, Landon Macy's goals in life are set, and he knows what he has to do to realize those goals. A lot of my life choices, and actually the majority of them, have been affected by the family farm, from uh, wanting to grow up showing in 4-H and FFA and on the farm, and also in my life careers wanting to be a large animal veterinarian and going to Washington State University to major in animal sciences. And so really all of this and all that I've really done in my life and my career started on the family farm growing up with the animals. Tom Bomey was Landon's principal at Centralia High School. I think what you see uh, in kids that are, um, are brought up on the farm is you see a really strong work ethic 
and a, and a high character. And it goes to not only the involvement on the farm, but it also points to the, to the guidance and the foundation that their parents lay for them. Uh, the parents uh, is where it all starts, and the farm is the icing on the cake. It gives them the kind of the laboratory to uh, grow and, 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 uh, uh, and become good citizens by uh, practicing time management, hard work, resiliency, those kinds of things that allow them to grow up and be good leaders. And Landon was a good leader, both formally and informally. He was president of the FFA chapter and student body president in the high school. But at the same time, at lunch and on the weekends, he was also a leader amongst his fellow students, helping them make good decisions in their lives. Again, Centralia's high school principal, Tom Bomey because he's not only putting in the time at the farm, he's putting the time in the classroom, he's putting in the time in his, his sports and his, his activities. So all of that gets juggled and gets to be practiced on the farm. Uh, and he be, because of that, uh, he has a strong, solid foundation that's gonna allow him to become very successful in the future. Wayne Gilman is both the head of the FFA program in Washington State and the state supervisor for agriculture education and science at the Office of Public Instruction. He believes that growing up on a family farm does make a difference. They learn responsibility very early in life. And that is key to many of the things that make them so valuable as a citizen later on in our, our nation. They, they learn that responsibility because they have to do chores, they have to take care of livestock, they have to work on the family farm and the work ethic that they learn early in life is very, very important to them later on. And they learn that they are part of a community that is very important to the country. And that rural community is a real basis for the country and consequently young people that come from farms and ranches around the nation become very, very important later on in life as solid, quality citizens, and that's what we really need. We agree, and those qualities are what we saw in Landon and his fellow FFA members. This is what gives us hope for the future. Landon isn't the only outstanding student and leader raised on a small family farm, but he represents the finest. The FFA agrees. And Landon is, is one of those special young people in Washington that uh, is on his way to earn his American FFA degree, which is a great honor, but it's a long road, sometimes it's a very tough road, and there are a lot of requirements that they have to meet. And most of those students that work towards that spend six years attaining that American degree. Growing up on a small family farm is more than a job. It's a lifestyle. Landon loves to be part of the larger farm community and that has given him the direction of his life. I, I like the aspect of having a relationship with the farmers, with the dairymen, and working as a partnership so that the animal can produce the most and that they can be a successful farmer and manager of their operation. The perspective from students raised on a farm and from those raised in the city helps each other understand the unique issues facing each other, according to the Dean of Washington State University School of Veterinary Medicine. There's a different understanding of the role of animals in society that often comes uh, with vet students from farm backgrounds. And what we see often that's uh, useful in our curriculum and in the interactions with the students is that those, those students with the farm backgrounds can help us educate all of our students about the issues facing livestock production and veterinary services provided to livestock. Uh, particularly those kids that come from urban areas that really don't have much background uh, with livestock or farm animals. Uh, their peers in the class who do have that background uh, provide a lot of education for them and, and really help enrich the curriculum. My goals in life are uh, to graduate with my animal science degree, uh, my bachelor's, and then to go into vet school and eventually become a large animal vet. I, I want to have my own family farm after that and raise a family and 
raised my kids on a family farm because growing up uh, that way, I feel like it really influenced my life for the better and taught me quality life values that I want to teach my kids. This is Rex Allen Jr., Landon Macy, and all the other wonderful young men and women growing up on family farms is why we must make absolutely sure that we preserve the family farm. We need the great food and the great kids they produce. Our country's future leaders.